Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Curran and I'm Leslie Draffin. We begin tonight in Milam County where a former county inmate is suing after he says jail guards assaulted him and left him hospitalized for almost two years. In fact, he filed that suit this morning. Curtis Quillen has been following the story from day one. He joins us now with a breakdown of that lawsuit. Hi, Curtis. Hi, guys. John Robertson lives in Rockdale and says he was in the jail voluntarily in July 2016 while he waited to enter a drug treatment program. Then he says his telling other inmates to do what the guard told them led to a series of events he says he never saw coming. I would never be able to walk again with my kids, you know. It's been almost two years since John Robertson says guards in the Milam County Jail assaulted him after he claims he told his cellmates to follow the guards orders. When they drug me to another cell, once I got to the other cell, they laid me on my stomach and I, I was cuffed from behind and that's the when told me to shut up and that's when he went on my back with his knees. Monday, Robertson sued the county for the alleged assault. In the lawsuit, he claims two days after suffering his injuries, he was screaming for help because he couldn't feel anything below his waist. That's when he says he was taken to the jail nurse. Robertson claims the nurse said there was nothing wrong with him and he was faking his injuries. After a shift change, he says an ambulance was called and he was taken to Baylor Scott and White Medical Center in Temple, where he stayed for almost two months. Because of his injuries, Robertson says he couldn't work for months and he wasn't able to provide for his family until recently. It made me feel less than a man. I couldn't help my family. In addition to the county, the Milam County Sheriff and District Attorney were both named as defendants. Both declined comment to Channel 6 because it's an ongoing lawsuit. Robertson says he's facing hundreds of thousands of dollars in medical bills, and he and his wife are both hoping they can make a difference with this lawsuit. That this will never happen to nobody else, and, and for me to be able to help my family. Justice all the way around. I hope that no one ever has to go through anything like this. The Texas Rangers are still investigating the case. A full detailed breakdown of the lawsuit is available on our website, KCENTV.com. Doug, Leslie. All right, thanks, Curtis.